there guys, Angus from Spotted Hog Airsoft here today with another Airsoft video review. Today we're going to be taking a look at a piece of tactical gear, obviously the one I'm wearing. This is the Lancer Tactical M4 Chest Harness. Basically, it's a Molly chest rig with loads of M4 magazine pouches. Now if you're interested in picking this thing up after you watch this video, there'll be a link down below in the description to SpottedHogAirsoft.com where you can buy it for $43. Now with that being said, let's zoom in and hop into this review. All right, so we've gone ahead and zoomed in on the vest, at least to the point which I would prefer, seeing as how you can still see the full vest. So sorry it's not heavily magnified in tiny little places, but I just want to display the entire thing. Now, as always, let's start off our tactical gear review by going over how well this thing is made. As usual, I always state I'm not a stitching expert, I'm no clothing expert either, I'm an airsofter. I go out there and I play, and if I think it's good quality and it'll last in the field, I say so. And I've had good experience with Lancer tactical gear in the past, and I certainly don't have anything to complain about as far as construction goes here. This thing feels rather well, it doesn't have that plastic plasticky gear feel, pardon me, that you sometimes get with the cheaper stuff, but in this case that's not prevalent at all. And also something I've been noting the past couple reviews about this type of gear is that the coloring is great. As you can see this is an OD, you can also purchase it in tan at SpottedHogAirsoft.com, and the coloring looks great. It's not that sicky OD green that you get sometimes, it kind of looks like puke. It's actually a solid OD green that matches pretty well with the darker camouflage I have on today. So the coloring looks rather nice with this as well, and it's not like it's made of cardboard it's not going to be falling apart out there. It's pretty solid gear. Now talking a little bit about the vest itself, you will notice there is a little bit of molly visible on the shoulder straps here. This is only a small bit of it. It's also seen on the sides of the vest as well, both of them. And also these magazine pouches up front are removable. When you remove them, you reveal more molly. So what's great about this vest is that you do have the option to customize a little bit with your own pouches if you choose so. However, why would you really want to when you get all these M4 magazine pouches up front? We've got a triple M4 mag pouch over here that is closed flap. Each one of these pouches can hold two M4 magazines. On the opposite side, we do have a double M4 magazine pouch. Each of these can hold two, so total right off the bat with these removable magazine pouches, you can hold up to 10 mags. Behind them, as you might notice by the mag pulls sticking out, we have additional six open top magazine pouches that are built into the vest. These obviously aren't removable. These can also hold two mags each, giving you a total of 12 mags in the back. Something to note though is that these open top pouches are a little bit tighter than the closed flap ones in the front. I just left one in there so that I could make use of the mag pull. These do cover up though if you wanted to simply snap these shut. Of course with the mag pull it doesn't exactly work. So these are coverable as well. They don't have to be open top. So right out of the packaging you have space for up to 22 possible M4 style airsoft magazines in this rig. Of course you could also fit some other magazines if you wanted to. I imagine each of these closed top pouches, pardon me, would hold maybe one AK mag each and obviously your open top pouches in the back probably the same amount. As far as MP5 mags go, G36 mags go, you get into a whole different thing. The pouches probably still will fit them. Now, talking about how this thing is all held together, obviously you do have two quick release buckles up here, and as far as holding the center piece together, we've got triple security. We do have a long strip here that's coated in Velcro, also secured by four solid metal snap buttons, and you do have the additional little quick release buckle up top as well to hold everything together in the front. So if something breaks, you do have two other sets to hold it together, so I would doubt anything coming apart is very unlikely to happen. Now as far as the back of the vest goes, things are pretty simple here. Again, you get a rather large portion of molly, so you can go ahead and add really whatever you want. You'll also notice that this portion here might appear a little bit hollow, and the reason for that is that by the simple pull of a zipper, you can open that up, which would indeed reveal a compartment for a hydration bladder. Something else important to note would be that on the inside of the vest, you do have two hidden interior mesh pockets for the storage of documents or things you don't want to lose in a game. These are pretty secured by Velcro, and it's always convenient to have these in there. All right, and with that being done, I pretty much gave you guys a basic overview of everything you'll find on the Lancer Tactical M4 chest harness. And that's pretty much all I wanted to do. I don't want to BS you by going over, oh, this pouch isn't that tight, this one's a little loose. Bottom line, I really like this rig, and that's because I would personally use it because it fits everything I need, and apparently this alpaca enjoys it as well. 
Now, the reason I say it fits everything I need is because it's a chest rig and it's lighter. I can really rip this thing down and set it up for just a simple little, you know, afternoon game with some buddies out there. I can set it up so I can just hold a couple mag pouches, maybe some additional things on this side. But at the same time, it's got such a huge M4 mag capacity as well as the Molly that I could set this up and probably run this in a day long op or maybe a little bit longer because it's got so much uh, available pouch space that I can really stack it up with as many mags, also the additional Molly to put some different pouches on to store other things. So really it's a versatile vest that can go either for the airsoft you're just playing with his friends or the guy who's out there to participate in a serious airsoft skirmish. Now the one thing I don't like, this thing is fully adjustable and that's great because everybody can wear it. However, when you adjust it for a thinner person such as myself, you'll notice up here in the front and you probably saw in the back that these straps from the excess when you tighten them become really long and annoying. My recommendation for these would be to tape them together so that they're not as annoying. Uh, most notably the one in the back because I really had to cinch that tight and it's a big long tail hanging off back there. But really that's the only thing I could complain, complain about. Otherwise for $43 you get a rather nicely made vest that will allow you to hold up to 22 M4 magazines in open top and closed top style pouches as well as the additional hydration bladder compartment in the back. So overall, it's a nice quality vest. I would run it personally, and I certainly would recommend it. So thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe.